What do you mean, Linda made? I'm on the phone and Linda got out. Okay, why are you on the phone? I'm trying to film. Oh Lord, the lamb got out. Linda, she's like, Freedom, just grab her. See, this is what happens when you're filming. I'm on the other side of the yard. Linda got into the sunroom and then to the other side of the yard. Come here, Linda. Okay. I'm in the middle. Of here, you grab her. Okay, got her? Thank you. Okay. okay. Good times. Sorry. This is what happens when I, they're doing construction on that side of the farm. I'm over here trying to film a video while I'm inside making goat cheese. And, uh, and then the lamb gets out. That's what happens because there's no wall on the back end of the house right now. But that's another video. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Today's the day where we are going to try our hand at making some goat cheese from our fresh goat milk. If you're new to our channel, welcome. But if you've been with our channel for a while, you know that I have a goat who is in milk currently. So I'm trying to figure out some different things to try with her milk. Today, it's cheese. I've been saving up the milk for the last few days and I'm making my first batch of goat cheese today and I'm gonna share the process with you. The first thing, obviously, that you'll need is, well, some goat's milk. Pretty simple ingredients. You're gonna need one quart, which is four cups, of goat's milk, preferably fresh and unpasteurized, but if you've got to buy store-bought, you can make that work too. You'll need two tablespoons of white vinegar. You'll need a quarter cup of lemon juice, which is roughly two lemons juiced, a half a teaspoon of salt, and if you're going to do some herb crusting on your goat cheese, you'll need that too. I'm gonna to be using Herbs de Provence today for my goat cheese, but you can do garlic, rosemary, whatever you want. You'll also need some cheesecloth, a nice pot, something to stir it with, of course, your colander, and a bowl and to drain it with. And I do have the link for the cheesecloth that I'm using today down below in the description, linking to our Amazon store. In a big pot, you're gonna wanna go ahead and add your goat's milk. Go ahead and add it cold, put it on medium heat, and stir it a lot constantly and check the temperature. You are going to want to keep your thermometer handy. You're going to want that goat's milk to get up to about 180 degrees. When you do that, you're going to notice that it's just starting to kind of curdle and you're going to want to keep stirring it until it reaches that 180 degrees. Once it does, immediately pull it off the heat. You're going to add your quarter cup of lemon juice and your two tablespoons of white vinegar and stir it in completely to your curdled goat's milk. Set a timer for five minutes and let it sit. When the time's up, you're gonna slowly pour it into your cheesecloth lined colander that is sitting inside of a bowl. Go ahead and set another timer and let it sit and drain for 10 minutes. Once that 10 minutes is up, you're going to go ahead and move that bowl either into your kitchen sink or into another bowl where you can put uh, a tie rack over it so that you can pull the corners of the cheesecloth up and have it essentially hanging in your bowl. This is so it can finish dripping and kind of compact a little bit while it's sitting over the whey so you can get some of that nice aromatic flavor into your goat cheese. The longer you let it sit, the more goaty it's gonna become. All right, so I'm cheating and using a hair tie to get it tied because I did not make the corners of my cheesecloth long enough. Now I know. Guys, the struggle is real today. I don't even think you understand. <laughs> They're literally ripping the back end of my house apart right now and I'm trying to make goat cheese and the lambs have gotten out twice because there's no wall on the back end of the property right now and they just walked right through and then walked out. Yeah, anyway, if I'm not supervising then everything falls apart. <laughs> so anyway, Plus that door is getting left open so now I've got some flies in the house. So I'm trying to prevent um, cheese flies from happening. So I'm going to take all this liquid that is underneath of this that's going to be dripping. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here because it needs to sit over it. And instead of just letting it drip in the sink, I'm going to let it drip across here and I am going to go ahead and put this lid on just to keep the flies that are coming into the house because the wall is gone so <laughs> and that other side door keeps getting left open so I have I'm, I'm having to improvise a little bit right now but we will make it work we will conquer we will persevere you're gonna let it sit for about an hour while it does this and remember don't squeeze the cheesecloth with your fingers you don't want to dry it out prematurely so my cheese curds have hung 
in here for an hour over the juice. So now we're gonna dump these curds out onto this plate. Just like so. Mix in some of that salt with your fingers. You're gonna form it into a cylinder or a cheese log, if you will. Once it's nice and formed up, you can go ahead and roll it in your herbs that you've chosen to use. Again, today I'm using Herbs de Provence. Then you're gonna go ahead and stick your cheese into a container, stick it in the fridge, and let it firm up overnight if you've decided to do the herbs. If not, you might only have to wait a couple of hours until it's firmed up enough and chilled enough to eat. Now the great thing is, you are ready to add your very own herb crusted, or no herb crusted, goat cheese to your charcuterie board. I know that tomorrow I cannot wait to try this cheese out and see how yummy and delicious it turns out to be, or maybe a total disaster. But I did my research and hopefully it will go off without a hitch. Okay, don't mind my messy dining room table that's actually in a weird spot that is not, isn't normally because we're still under construction and the lambs are at the door. Oh, she's Linda's in the thing again. I'll go get her. Linda's in the, she's in the backyard. Mom's goat cheese. Yeah. They, Sorry, uh, so the first taste of my first try at goat cheese and This it... is on point. Yay! This is really good. Yeah. What'd you think, This Nate? is the first time you've ever made it? Mm hmm For real? Yeah, first oh, time. Oh, that was killer. Yay! It was excellent. That was money. You should make the same exact recipe. I am. I'm making a double batch right now. Woo! Yeah. I'm digging it. Mm-hmm. That's happy. It. All right, now I have to go and catch... What'd you say? She didn't try it. I don't really it. like cheese, but oh, for not liking cheese, it's pretty good. All right. Cool. Now I have to go catch a lamb. I'll be back. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications. And don't forget. Linda what do you mean Linda made? I'm on the phone and Linda got out. Okay, why are you on the phone? I'm trying to film. Oh Lord, the lamb got out. Linda, she's like, freedom, just grab her. Yeah. See, this is what happens when you're filming. I'm on the other side of the yard. Linda got into the sun and then to the other side of the yard. Come here, Linda. Come here, baby. <laughs> Okay. I'm in the middle of, here, you grab her. Okay, Got her? Thank you. Okay. okay. Good times. Sorry. This is what happens when our, they're doing construction on that side of the farm. I'm over here trying to film a video while I'm inside making goat cheese and, uh, and then the lamb gets out. That's what happens because there's no wall on the back end of the house right now, but that's another video. So, what was I saying? Oh yeah, talk less and do more. <laughs>